gonna start the December allotment garden tour from the tomato section, which as you may recall, I just dug a little trench here about two and a half months ago. Hello, what's that? And uh, just use the tomato from the shops and look how we're going. I've since put some bamboo stakes in just for support until it reaches here and I will twine it through here and it can grow all along there and if need be I'll make some adjustments but it's doing quite well looking pretty healthy I've done nothing to it never watered it just let nature takes its course nature take its course <sighs> and we'll go oh he's a random tomato plant here too <laughs> let's go over here see how these are going oh hello a couple of where are we? A couple of lady beetles, ladybugs. Unfortunately, quite a few weeds in here. But plenty of things growing here. This is the squash section. flowers. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, doing all right. And these two orange trees. Yeah, getting some good, good size to them, particularly this one. I might even uh, just recently brought a, cra a crafting a grafting tool so I may do some grafting and try and create some salad citrus trees for those who don't know what that is you just graft a branch of the same size of a different tree onto say this for example say if I wanted to have mandarins I might uh, cut this one with the grafting tool actually may even here and with the grafting tape you would this will eventually be producing oranges but it would then also from one offshoot I could even do two it will produce mandarins as well because uh, people pay big money for what they call salad fruit trees, salad citrus trees, and make it yourself. I mean, way, 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 why not? So, just got a new path done. And it's a mango tree. There's some growing on it. Let's see if I can drag this down. Here we go. Some mangoes growing scattered actually all over it looking all right very late season for it stink bug shoe ew ew oh, oh stinks so from memory this is an orange tree no it's a mandarin tree should have been able to tell by the leaves actually mandarin tree over here I haven't worked out what to do with these yet because uh, so these are three banana trees these are DPM 25s which are known as Cavendish they're the ones that you generally 
see the most of in the stores so this will be really nice to have uh, just don't want to plant them yet because we might be moving and we'll have to start a whole new garden and an orchard so we'll move back here just, uh, as you can see little bits growing here and there that's just the mint this is getting quite bushy I've just decided I'm just gonna let this go this is a pear tree can't see a partridge this is really odd I don't know what's happened here but it's pretty much dead blueberry bush but as you can see going along here plenty more blueberries let's move to here oh, hello it's a little spider where are you Lemonade lemon tree growing fruit, which is good. It's actually doing quite well. I hacked it around winter or so just to help it bush out and get new shoots and see how we go. We've got our Other mandarin tree starting to get some good size to it. Got lots of little mandarins growing. Orange tree. Stink bug. Off. Oh, stink bugs. Rosemary always does well. Let's move back here. Avocado tree. This is a Hass, which is a um, an A type tree. You need a B, which I recently got. It's a shepherd. Got some celery. And here's a little bit of raspberry. Here we've got. Uh, coriander for some weird reason already going to seed but that's fine i can take the seeds when the time comes and if we move take the seeds with us with us with us down there as well we've got one there and here i mean here there looks like um turmeric or turmeric ow there we go. Nice new growth, doing well. Macadamia tree. If we move, I'll be digging that up to take with us because they're not cheap and they're not that easy to get. Let's have a look. What else we got? I mean, this allotment tour is always just for stuff I grow to eat, but I'll show you some things. These are quite nice. They get really beautiful colours. Here's our lime tree full of stink bugs. <sighs> now when you get what this, I would consider an infestation of stink bugs, you often get a low yield. So I need to get onto this. I've actually got something. I just need to get on top of it just been like two or three weeks of rain a lot just a lot of oh my oh my holy grandpa wow yeah this is really bad this one and we've got lemons on this tree this is a lemon tree that are growing but wow this is really bad so many stink bugs it's like a cluster i guess we'd have to call this a hot spot 
Off you get. Off you get. Ugh. Um, I'm only going to show this because it's getting a big flower. That that giant flower when it's finished should probably be about three meters tall. Here's our ice cream tree or ice cream bean tree. Even though it's in a pot, it's doing really well, so that'll be easy to uh, move, take with us if we're going to move. Get out of Dodge. Let's go over this way. Kumquat tree, doing really well. Quite bushy. Plenty of kumquats, which I find is really good for making um, like marmalade. You can make marmalade though out of anything. I mean, oranges if you want, or mandarins what are you doing what are you doing little one and here i'm not sure if i've shown this before we've got um dragon fruit that's a good place for it it's just going down there hopefully we'll get some fruit in the next year or two and here a new addition here it's another mango tree another kensington Yes, Coco, I know you want to check it out. So that's doing all right. <coughs> and some more additions here. I'll actually turn them around. I'm keeping these. I just transferred them into pots that are a little bigger. Just because, like I said, if we move, I want to take them with us. So we've got this one. It's a... 7.5 nice and we've got this one's considered hot I don't know what hot is out of 10 could be 5, 6, 7 I don't know, probably 7 these oh, I like this type this is a 7.5 nice and hot then we move on to the 9 out of 10 the rumba and then we've got the viper 10 plus plus doing well so that'll be good i can use these for making sauces where i can grind up uh, some of the milder ones not that there's any here particularly mild with the really hot ones and also get some capsicum, which in the US um, are called um, bell peppers to reduce the heat of it, make a really nice sauce. Here's our chard. As you can see, it's going to seed, flowering. This would be great to have that, so it's organic. It's all the way down here too. This is a type of kale more kale wow look at all that on it looks like i can't tell with my eyes if i oh know it's living there's like little aphids and stuff so that's not good however it's gone to seeds so i might take some of the seeds up here that are still good oh, that's bad i'll have to spray i've got some organic spray for it I just made myself. That's still doing quite well. But everything going to seed, that's what we want. Strawberries, hmm, struggling a bit. Could be from all the rain we've had, they're just probably waterlogged. Let's go this way. Mandarin tree, lots of mandarins, little mandarins growing all over it. There we go. Now a lot of these will 
not make it they'll fall off die and the stronger ones will go we're still going to get three or four hundred which is good pink lady apple tried to kill it so many times i'm just going to let it go now good old lemon tree actually so Pretty big lemon. There's another one back there, nearly ready. Doing well in our little uh, orange tree. Not doing a lot, it's sort of competing between these two established trees and getting shade as well. From both. Let's go to the last section that I've done very little with due to my back sort of let it do its thing and it's not doing that well a lot of it some of it's all right well these two uh let's open this up Blueberries doing all right. Strawberries, that's dead. Pineapple, not very happy. Let's open this up. Well, the stuff that survives, if we move, I'll take with us. Chocolate mint's still okay. Chamomile's virtually dead, unfortunately. Time. Lavender's all right. Basil has come back from the brink. Oregano doing well. Chives. Yeah. Stevia is not doing too badly. Of course, all these in, in the ground, in, in the best position, will recover. Poor little parsley that was virtually dead from zero rain and we've had all this rain and it's coming back a bit but anyway well that's the December allotment tour and hopefully you enjoyed it there was a few new additions some some good growth and some not so good growth you have gone a long way ciao